Hello everyone, welcome back and happy October. Today is gonna be my first Halloween tutorial for you guys and it's gonna be on the spooky bat wing look right here. So if you wanna see how I created this spooky glam look, then keep watching. I went ahead and did my brows off camera and now we're gonna get started with the eyes. And first I wanna get my hair out of my face. So we're gonna use a cat ear headband today. Cause why not, it's almost Halloween. Yeah. And to prep my eyes, I'm going to go in with my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. Here's some of the looks that I found on Pinterest that have kind of inspired the creativity in me today. And I'm going to be kind of using these and kind of making them my own and we'll see how it goes. It could turn out fabulous, I could hate it, who knows. First I'm gonna go in with my Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette and I'm gonna dip into the shade Creamsicle. And we're gonna start with this in the upper crease. And I'm going really far up close to my brow because we're going to be doing a cut crease later and it's going to go pretty high and I don't want to cut out all the color with the concealer. Can I just have like a little moment with y'all? Like this is probably like my eighth or ninth video. I don't even know. But four years ago, I was sitting in my apartment doing these really crazy Halloween looks and really wishing that I had a YouTube channel and I just never did it. And just really happy that I'm finally doing it. It feels really good to be doing a Halloween look. So I really hope that you guys enjoy this. So please let me know if you do. Go ahead and leave a like right now and comment down below. It really means a lot to me that y'all are watching. So thank you guys. Okay, back to the makeup. Next, using the same palette, I'm going to dip into the shade Hunts. And I'm just going to put that a little bit lower into the crease. And I'm just going in with my first fluffy brush and blending all of that together. Going in and adding some more of that color Hunts because I want it to be very orange. And then I'm going to go back in with a little bit of cream circle just to brighten up the yellow as well. And then with a bigger fluffy brush, I'm just making sure that everything is blended together and there are no harsh lines. So I am a purple fanatic. I love purple. It's my favorite color. It's always been my favorite color. And I really want to put purple right here under the orange. So. Hopefully this doesn't ruin the look, but I'm going to go in with my Urban Decay Electric Palette and I'm going to dip into the shade Urban. And let's pray to the makeup gods that I don't ruin my eye. And using a small fluffy brush, I'm blending this very carefully because I don't want it to go too high into the orange. I just want it to be a little sliver of purple after we do the cut crease. And then using the brush we use to apply the color Hunts, I'm going to blend some more. 
Now we're gonna cut the crease and I'm gonna use my Tarte Shape Tape and a concealer brush. And this is gonna be a pretty dramatic cut crease. So what I do is I put the concealer on the eyelid and then I'm gonna look straight ahead. And it kinda of like got longer. So now I know where to do the top of my cut crease. And I just got a little bit of concealer on the end of my brush and kind of stamped out where I think the outer wing part of the cut crease is going to go. And there is our cut crease. And I'm not going to set this with a setting powder. I'm just going to go straight into the next shade. And today I'm going to use the shade Obsessed. Now we just have to do the same thing on the other side and hope that it comes out symmetrical. And there's our other side completed. And yes, I know that we look a little bit crazy right now, but it will come together after the eyeliner. And for eyeliner today, I'm going to be using the NYX Matte Liquid Eyeliner. We're just going to line our eye like we normally would. And then I'm going to do the outer line of our wing, just like I normally would, but longer. And then I'm going to do a line that kind of follows the cut crease shape. And then I'm kind of like thinking of drawing like a Nike swoosh and I'm kind of swooping it inward and then I'm going to connect it to the eye just like I normally would for a regular wing. And then I'm just going to fill that in. And there's the top half of our bat wing. So off camera, I went ahead and did my foundation, bronzer, and blush. And now we're going to do the lower half of our bat wing. So I'm going to start with the inner bottom flick of the bat wing and I'm just drawing a line down and then kind of pushing it up and around. Again, it makes me think of a Nike swoosh and then out and then the same thing going back up and around and then connecting it to our original wing. And now we're just going to fill that in. And now I'm just going to take a little bit of concealer on the end of this brush and I'm just going to clean up that wing a little bit. And there is our one bat wing. And I really like how this turned out. It was a little scary there while I was doing it. I was kind of unsure of myself, but it really came together and I really like it. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. And here are our completed bat wings. I think they turned out great. They're pretty even. I really like them. I honestly have just been like staring at them for the past like three minutes because they're just so cool. Now we need to do our lower lash line and I'm going to stick with the Pinterest inspo theme that kind of did like a black smoky under eye. So I'm going to go into the shade Abyss and I'm going to start really really close to the lash line and then blend out as I go.
And for the waterline, I'm going to use the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On Eye Pencil in the shade Zero. I almost never fill in my waterline anymore and it just brings back such interesting memories of me in junior high in my gothic phase when I used to do eyeliner just in circles around my eye. Oh my goodness. Now that the waterline is done, I want to do my brow highlight and my inner corner highlight. And I'm going to use the shade in light and I'm just tucking this under my brow. And a little bit in the inner corner, not too much because we do have all that black eyeliner in there. And really quick off camera, I'm going to throw on some Ardell Wispy Lashes. I do want a lash, but I don't want it to be too thick because I don't want to cover up all this art we did. Bippity boppity boo! And there are our lashes. Now we're just going to do some highlighter very quickly. And today I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Moon Child Highlighter Palette. And I'm going to use the shade Purple Horseshoe. And I'm going to put that purple shade on my nose as well. And my cupid's bow. And I'm also going to put a little bit of that on top of our other brow highlight. And I'm going to set my face with my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And for our lips, I am going to keep it neutral because I want the focus to be my eyes. So I'm just going to go in with my Kylie Lip Kit in the color Candy K. And for those of you that don't know why I'm using a disposable doe foot, my Kylie Jenner Candy K doe foot is really fuzzy and rough, so I use a disposable one instead. And with that, our makeup is done. I'm just very quickly going to curl my hair a little bit. And here is our finished look. I love it. It turned out very cool and spooky, but it's also very glamorous. And this look would be perfect for any like small social distancing Halloween parties that you might be going to this October or if you just want to look fabulous while you're sitting at home eating pizza and watching scary movies. Let me know down below if you liked this Halloween tutorial and also let me know if you have any other Halloween looks you want me to try out. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. See you in my next Halloween tutorial. Bye!